should have, could have, would have. Generally, in everyday spoken English, we shorten these words to should have, could have, would have. Should, could, would are known as modal verbs. Modal verbs are verbs used to express necessity or the possibility of something happening. These verbs don't have a past form like normal verbs. We can use modal verbs plus have plus a past participle when we're talking about the past. This will make sense as we look at a few examples. Before we begin, it's important to note that we never say should of, could of, would of. The contraction should have, could have, would have can sound like this when we're talking quickly. However, you must remember that there is the word have after the modal verb. Should have. The positive sentence structure is should plus have plus a verb past participle. The negative sentence structure is should plus not plus have plus a verb past participle. Should have can be used for a few different reasons. The first is to express regret or something that would have been better to do but we didn't do it. For example, I should have studied harder for my English exam. Here I regret not working hard for my English exam. I should have studied harder. I shouldn't have been rude to Sam. Here I regret being rude to Sam. I shouldn't have been rude to him. In this example, I have used the contraction shouldn't for should not. Should have can also be used to recommend a different action in the past. For example, you should have bought your jacket. Here I am advising my friend that she should have bought her jacket with her. You shouldn't have shouted at Kelly. Here I am advising my friend that her action was wrong and that she shouldn't have shouted at Kelly. Lastly, should have can also be used to talk about something that you expected to happen if everything is normal. For example, if you're making some lasagna and you expected it to be ready for a specific time, you might say, the lasagna should have been cooked by now. However, we can also use should have for something that we expected to happen, but it didn't happen. For example, if you're waiting at the bus stop and the bus is late, you may say to your friend, the bus should have arrived an hour ago. Here we're talking about something we expected to happen, but it didn't happen. The bus didn't arrive on time. Could have. The positive sentence structure is could plus have plus a verb past participle the negative sentence structure is could plus not plus have and the verb past participle. Could have can be used for a number of different reasons. The first is to talk about imaginary situations in the past. If we're using the positive form, then we're talking about something that didn't happen but could have possibly happened. For example, you could have been a teacher if you had studied harder in school. This is something that was possible, but it didn't happen. If we're using the negative form, then we're talking about something that was impossible, even if we wanted it to happen. For example, I couldn't have arrived any earlier. It was impossible. Could have can also be used to make a guess about something in the past. For example, if you can't find your friend at a party, you might say, she could have gone home. 
This might not be true, as we are only guessing. Could have can also be used to talk about alternative possibilities in the past. For example, you were almost late, you could have missed your exam. Another example is, you were driving very fast, you could have crashed. Here I'm saying it was possible for you to crash because you were driving your car very fast. So, this is an alternative possibility. It could have possibly happened. Lastly, could have can also be used to criticize someone for something they did or didn't do. For example, you could have told me you were going to be late. This means you didn't tell me you were going to be late, but you could have possibly told me earlier. Would have. Would have is part of the third conditional, therefore we have the if clause. The positive sentence structure is if plus past perfect plus would have plus a verb past participle. The negative sentence structure is if plus past perfect plus would not have plus a verb past participle. We use would have when we want to describe a situation and the result of the situation. For example, we can use would have to talk about imaginary situations in the past. This may sound similar to could have, however, the difference is could have is used to describe a situation that could have actually been possible. However, would have is used to describe a situation that is now impossible. But we are imagining the result. Essentially, we are describing something that didn't happen and we're imagining the result of that situation. For example, if I had studied, I would have achieved better results. This is a situation that is impossible. I know that I didn't study well for my exam, therefore I didn't achieve good results. But I am imagining that if I had studied, I would have got better results. Another example is, if I hadn't trained well, I wouldn't have won the race. In this example, I won the race because I trained very well. However, I'm imagining if I hadn't trained well, then I wouldn't have won the race. So just remember, we're talking about imaginary situations and their results. These situations are impossible now. We can also use would have to talk about something we wanted to do but we didn't do. For example, she would have bought the car but she didn't have enough money. So she wanted to buy the car but she couldn't because she didn't have enough money. It's important to note that we don't always have to use the if clause as shown in this example, would plus have plus a past participle.